Hey guys, find out what happens when you mix John Wick and Neo and paint them on a cake. All right, so for this cake, I had a client ask me, I guess they're a big Keanu Reeves fan and they wanted half John Wick and half Neo. Here's a fun time lapse of me painting on black with white edible paint. I found two pictures, one of Neo and one of John Wick, blew them up to the right size. I cut them in half, drew a line in the middle, first of all, to separate John Wick and Neo, and secondly, to kind of keep me on track because that's my middle line. And um, if I don't go by that, then I could end up that with, a, with a painting that when you look at it from the front, his head is not aligned or something like that. So it was important to stay true to that line. I'm, I was very happy with the way it turned out. I do think that it, it looked much better in person than it does on camera. It seems like on camera, the top seems bigger because that's the way cameras work. When you take a picture from the top or when you look at it from a different angle, then it's not perfectly aligned. And this is the type of cake that works best if you are looking at it from one specific angle. And when you do that, then it looks really good. The other thing that I did for this cake that was really fun is I made uh, the marker for John Wick and I substituted the skull in the middle for the, for the initial of the birthday boy, painted it in silver and I think that added a lot. And the client really loved the cake. I was very flattered because uh, for personal reasons, I had for the first time in my life had to cancel my client's order and she's a really good client and she understood and I felt terrible, but we canceled the order for, for this uh, birthday cake. A few months later, the client calls me and she said that her son just did not think it was like a real birthday without my cake. So she asked me to make the cake that we had planned previously for her at this time. So I had to squeeze it in my busy schedule and we didn't have time to properly film this. So I thought it would be fun to at least get a glimpse into the process of the painting on the cake. All right guys, thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like my video, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell or ring the bell or um, click on the bell to get notifications when my videos come out. Thanks.